Today we're exploring the question, will a dent affect your bottle's insulation? I made a longer post about this last month, but not everyone has the time to watch 18 minutes about the full testing process. So this is the sip-sized summary that will cover the main information and what you need to know. Dual wall bottles work because they have a vacuum between the two stainless steel layers. To show you, I cut into this hydro flask and you can actually hear air filling in and replacing the vacuum. These bottles insulate so well because heat cannot travel as easily through a vacuum. So if you create a contact point between the two layers or worst case, break through the steel to release the vacuum, then the insulation would be worse than before or maybe even totally compromised. I found that the spacing between the two layers is much wider on the bottom compared to the sides. So your bottle can have bigger dents on the bottom and still hold its insulation, which is probably by design because the bottom is the most likely place to get a dent. But if you're unlucky enough to drop your bottle on its side onto a rock or something else that dents it there, then the dent doesn't need to be as deep to create a contact point between the two layers. Next, I stress tested a Revo Max bottle by dropping it from increasing heights. I did a four hour insulation test before starting and after each drop. The drops eventually created large dents with extensive buckling, which is where the steel really folds and bends the most. Still, the insulation held until I had two overlapping major dents. That overlapping section created enough strain on the steel to crack it open, which caused air to replace the vacuum. So the bottom line is that you probably don't need to worry about your bottle's insulation being compromised by a dent. Most dents, even really severe ones, are not large enough to affect the insulation. Most people will probably replace their bottle before the insulation is affected because dents can make the bottle sit wobbly, which is pretty annoying. But if you like to hang on to your bottles longer than the average person and you start getting some overlapping major dents, that's when you would be more likely to start seeing your insulation get worse or potentially even completely fail. But if you have any doubts, do an insulation test yourself. Fill your bottle with the hottest water from your sink, measure the temperature, let it sit for about four hours, then measure it again. If the temperature dropped by less than 10 degrees, your insulation is probably still good. More than 10 and you might have a problem. Here's a link to our full video if you'd like to see the entire process. Thanks for watching and happy hydrating.